everybody good afternoon it is a th what is today a thursday and there is no music in star citizen how odd how how strange oh well Good to see everybody. T-Rex, good to see ya. Howdy, Jason. Hey, mother fig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt USA. You know what? If it's supposed to be all backers, then maybe Australia will work. Nope. Australians are denied. Deplorable. Lonics, guitars, Ken. Hey, Russell. Oh, Lonics, that's weird. TJ, good to see you, man. Hey, Brave Star. Am I guitars? I shouldn't be. I mean, I can still adjust it. Anybody else think I sound kind of low on the on the voice side? Hey, Forsaken. I mean, guitars. I am still kind of in the the process of getting all set up, so you could be onto something. You could be on to something. Come on. Come on, there we go. Hey, McPigeon. Ah, that could be a guitars. Ha, <laughs> deplorable. <laughs> You'll get me with that one one day. You'll get me with that one one day. But today's not that day. Today is not that day. Hey, deplorable. I got a, I got a question for you, man. And it might not happen, you know, that lot, a whole lot, just depending on on your kind of scene. But uh, like, how many people tell you that they want to get into farming? Like. Like hipsters like myself, but are like you know, oh man, like I want to be a farmer one day. Like, do you ever, do you ever, do you ever come across that? Is that a, is that a thing for you? I figure maybe you don't run into, uh, run into that, but I wanted to hear it from the source. Hey, biker. Gonna buy two of these. I wanted to uh, to try something. I wanted to see if I could come across some some fun cargo while doing some uh, some salvage, maybe. I am coming. Yeah, no, wait, no, I am coming through because Guitar said he could hear me. Yeah, Raven? Tell us about it. Do they not sell they they sell that at the gun store. Right, they they sell that at the gun store. But do they sell crews here? Probably not. Nope. I mean, you know, McPidget, you're right. Like You know, the, the thing about growing turnips is if the world goes to crap somehow and all of society collapses, I know how to grow a turnip. But like, it just, it just seemed like there was this, you know, it might, I, I might be holding on to old things, but like there was this 
weird kind of dream and circles that are very far away from farming of like giving it all up to become a farmer and it's like I, I don't know if you guys know a lot about farming but it's not it's not cushy now I'm talking like a, like a mom and pop kind of farm not like I don't know, like the industrial stuff. You know, maybe that's cushy. Like, I mean, like, you know, working with like three people on a farm. Ha, <laughs> Coyote. Hey, Phaedrus. Good to see you, man. Oh, no, motherfucker. I want to live on turnips. I, I was just using turnips as an example. Like, I don't, you know, I actually don't know if I've ever had a turnip. Like, I had to have had a turnip, right? Like, at least once in my life? Hold up. I might have to go look up some, some turnips now. Yeah, yeah, a coyote. Like, that's, that's kind of my point. It seems like there was... Come on, come on. How do I... I want to not just quick buy. I want to lot buy. Okay, what is going... Is this thing just messed up? Am I locked out? Am I... Are we going to 30k? No, I'm just on a weird... I'm, I'm stuck in the search bar. I am stuck in the search bar. Well, this is interesting. I'm, I'm clicking all over and, um, oh, thank goodness. There we go. It was just very messed up. I would like to, you know what? We're just going to use the open. But yeah, like, you know, like having a, a garden, you know, it's a hobby. It's nice. Like, you know, you spend a couple hundred dollars. And, you know, you get $7 of potatoes and tomatoes. And it's not the money. It's not about the money. Because, you know, it's just... It's about getting to do something yourself. Learning how to do it. Growing your own. And there's a pride in that. But I just... I, I've heard it so many times in bars where someone who has a job in some sort of administrator thing is like, you know, man, like, I thought about just giving it all up and becoming a farmer, you know? And it's like, yeah? Oh, that's a victim. Hold on. I see a victim. I see a victim. What's up, buddy? Do I have all my stuff? Yeah! Yeah! Now, Jason, that's not a half bad idea. You know, I've never actually played Stardew Valley. You know, Mac, I'm trying to remember if I like... Asparagus. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, that's the long green things, right? Oh, you know what? He might not since he's, uh... Sir, don't walk off. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We just... Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Oof. Oof, my goof. You know, Coyote, I don't know if I should be upset or impressed. Like, dude was literally the master of his own fate there. And, uh... Oof, Magoo. That was... Okay, okay, hold on. So CIG took all the NPCs from over there and just deposited them right here. Oh, yeah, Enrise. Like, okay. 
Like, listen, there are tons of things that I love about Starfield. But Starfield is a reskinned Oblivion. Or, well, Skyrim, I guess, these days. Man. That's what CitizenCon's gonna look like. All these people. You know, guitars, I, I've really enjoyed Starfield. It's kind of ticked me off with a few things, mostly bugs. Um, I've got this bug where whenever I fly to, uh, I want to say, is it Hopetown? There's another copy of my ship about five feet to the left, which makes it impossible to enter my ship physically. I have to use fast travel. And, uh, the rejuvenation perk not working. Which, I'm sure, like, there's already a community patch available for Starfield. I've thought about downloading that to see if that works from Nexus Mods. Yeah, see, deplorable. Like you're, you're kind of in a large farm operation. I'm thinking one slightly more uh, uh, tinier, you know. Oh yes, thank you, Phaedrus. Yes, I forgot about the permanent asteroid that follows my ship wherever I go, both in game and in cutscenes. You know, Coyote, I don't know how far into the story you are, but you're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. You just might not know how, how right you are. Hey, Logan. All right, so I think... Hold up. Are you new? You're not the guy who usually stands here. I guess he is new. You know, that guy in game made that comment about coming across a C2 full of, of stuff. And I figure, why not test that? Why not see if that's, uh, you know, come acrossable? So I think today we might do that. I mean, and rise that's fair. Like, like, okay. Starfield graphics aren't anything to write home about. But there's a difference between graphics and and design. You know, like the graphics can still be rudimentary and be beautiful. Like it's 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 set pieces. It's 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 the it's the, the, the decorating, the design, the actual layout of places and the way things are organized. Like, you know, all of Starfield's NPCs still look like Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. And yet, somehow, still, somehow, the game is still good looking and fun. It takes all of us working together to keep our you know, Logan, I've read about the Terramorphs, but I haven't got to see them yet. I have somehow, okay. Maybe it's because I have yet to do the single player. Like, or not the single player, the main story. As soon as I got a ship, I took off. I, uh... <laughs> Torpedo burrito! Heck yeah, Ken. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. Want your company to be Thank you, kid. Heck yeah. And rock, good to see ya. Now, 
Now, Mac, the pirate, the pirate, the ship customization is is great. Um, you know what? I should get another ship and steal the drive out of it because I'm already at. The space Welcome port. to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Goodbye. Oh, Raymond, I wish, I wish, man. And good to see you, Darren. Yeah, we'll just steal her out of the Pisces. Yeah, Coyote, or how the tops of their eyelids don't attach. So whenever they look, like, if they look with an angled head, like, they have the super, like, bug eye thing going on. That's always fun. That's, um... <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Thank you, bud. Heck yes. Thank you. Yeah, see, I, um... I haven't done Vanguard yet. I just finished becoming a ranger. And I really hope there's a transmog system. Because the ranger outfit is amazing, but it doesn't hold a candle to the armor I found 20 levels ago. There we go. I'll get rid of the cinches for trawlers. There we go. Obey all security and customs personnel at all times. Their job is your safety. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Yeah, Chris. I mean, they've been using the same NPC system since Morrowind. And... <laughs> Thank you, Rock. <laughs> Thank you, man. Vehicle has been delivered to the following location. And back, I'm glad you like them. I'm glad. I'm glad you like them. I had fun making them. You know, sir, I, I actually don't remember. Um, I mean, mostly bug fixes. Mo mostly bug fixes. You know, Logan, there was actually... I haven't got to look at the details yet, but I know there's a patch for it, or a, a mod, that actually makes it to where there's no loading between uh, taking off and landing. Oh, Darren, no, I'm sorry, man. I... Okay, so yesterday I went out for food, crashed, and then, like, I've had a few things to do today, and I have not really got to sit down at the computer for any sort of, like, leisure time. And yes, yes, there we're on all waves. All waves. Now everybody can jump into the pool. You are clear to launch. You know, Lonix, I, I don't I don't know. I haven't got to look at the specifics of it yet. I was looking on Nexus but on phone, so I didn't get to really investigate. Thank you, and please visit again. All right. Now the question is, do I need to take one of those jobs, or do I just need to come across a random C2? A Scorpius! And... It's not gonna have any cargo on it. Man, just straight up hammerhead, huh? Okay. 
Yeah, like Russell, I haven't ran into any um any like major game breaking bugs except the one where I can't get into my ship. What do you guys think? Should we go investigate the hammerhead? Chris thinks we should. I've only got mm, four seconds. Two. Well, yeah, we'll take it. Now, where is that? Jaba! It's gonna take me half the time just to get there. We'll give it a go. We'll try it out. Suddenly, I feel like I should have brought a reclaimer. Oh yeah, Logan. You know, they say that people who uh, get named like unique things commit more crimes, like they're more likely to, uh, <clears throat> you know, not be able to get like a, a get ahead job or what have you. And I believe that because I'm playing a game where I take criminal missions from a dude named Tarpits. And you know, maybe maybe it's just a pseudonym. Maybe it's a it's a uh, a group. But still, you know, Logan. Uh, once upon a time, I uh, <clears throat> I was in a behavioral hospital as a child, and. Uh, I met a kid named Freedom, and Freedom, well, I'm not going to say what Freedom was in for, but uh, dude got ragged on by everybody, like the other kids, the staff, like everybody. Yeah, his name was Freedom, like, you know liberty and justice for all freedom but like like everyone was like you know like uh, freedom like freedom can't tell jokes at all you know why because he, he doesn't knock he rings and and stuff like that it's like dude like that is that is the reason like that's gotta be the reason he's in here like come on like the kid Yeah. So anyway, I I get it. I get it. When you get when you get given like a a, a a like a weird or off kilter name, and you know, like kids are relentless. They will make fun of you for anything. So I I get it. Uh, I have not taken meds yet, and uh, Raymond, I was in there because, okay, this is a long, I'm going to try to truncate this very quickly. Um, I was beaten very severely. Mom thought I needed a counselor, not a doctor. Counselor was psycho and uh, convinced, convinced uh, my mom that I needed to be put into a institution that uh, would protect me from myself uh, because apparently I was an out of control child. The out of control was staying up past 10 to, you know, like read books and be on the internet. Like, oh man, man, that's a, uh, those were some times. Like. Sorry, not to like trauma dump. Just. Just, you know. Oh, yeah, Darren. Like, okay. Check this out, Darren. Check this out, man. 
Mom calls the cops on me one day for not being home. Like, past, I think, 8, 8 p.m. on a school night. Like, I could have been out doing drugs. I could have been out doing other drugs. You know what I was doing? You know what I was doing? I was at a friend's house doing a LAN party, and by party I mean three people, playing Command and Conquer. I'm doing, I'm doing nerd stuff, you know? Like, the most criminal thing I did in that game was play as Libya, because they had the best, you know, country-specific unit in Red Alert 2. Oh yeah, Jim. Yeah, it was it was one of those weird things where my mom just went super controlling over like the smallest of things. Uh see Raymond, that's the that's where you're in the wrong. I was not too old to beat. I was actually beaten quite regularly and that was that was part of the problem. <laughs> like Oh. Oh, Darren, I am so sorry, man. I am so sorry. Yeah, like, I was a good kid. Like, I, I, I've never, I've never done drugs. I, I think I tried half an ounce of alcohol before I was 21, and I was so scared, I threw my keys in the yard. Like, I, I... I was a quite agreeable child. I just wanted to use the internet and, and read. Like, that's all I wanted to do. I mean, Jim, I got brought home by the cops a lot. I never really got chased because I figured that would just be worse on me if I, you know, had to make them sweat. Yeah, see, Jim, I didn't get to do any of that. I lived, I lived two miles outside of town. And when I say outside of town, I mean a town of 9,000 people, so... The road into town was fairly sparse. And so it took me a while to actually get to town. And, like, I would dive into a ditch or something, usually, if I could tell it was a, a cop car coming. But sometimes, you know, they, they actually check the ditches with the searchlights and they see you. and You gotta get better at hiding. See, Max, that's how I was. Like, books, that, that used to be, like, the only thing I did. I would read constantly. And I feel so unread now compared to what I used to be like. Hey, it's AJ. <laughs> like, we got picked up for breaking curfew once because we were walking to Walmart for batteries. And we were almost to Walmart. Like, Walmart was 24 hours, but curfew was like 8 or, or 9. And, uh, we needed batteries for a keyboard. We're almost to Walmart, and the cops pick us up. We go through this whole thing, and, you know, Mom's yelling and screaming at me. It's like... It's like, really? O over batteries? I mean, you know... Look, it's not the worst thing in the world. You know, Joey... 
favorite book. Uh, back when I was super edgy. Which, I mean, I still kind of am. Um, I was a huge fan of Brave New World, which is still a good book. A lot of people, you know, do the whole, like, 1984 versus Brave New World. And, you know, I don't see why why the actual world can't be a bit of both. But uh, I really enjoyed, you know, Brave New World's take on, on the future. Um... As far as, like, an absolute favorite book, though, I would probably go either Small Gods or Feet of Clay, both by Terry Pratchett. Uh, Logan, there's some Meridian skins for ships that aren't used for piracy. Uh, the problem being, though... That uh, they're not going to be in the game till 3.20, so you got to buy the paints now and uh, wait till the patch goes live to use them. Yeah, see, Raymond, I, wouldn't, I didn't get access to models. I wanted them, but uh, they didn't really have those in Tiny Town, Arkansas. See, Jim, like, I tried to get into Game of Thrones... And I just, I don't think Martin's writing style was my jam. Man, those seem to go a little bit slower than, uh... Hold on, I am on trollish, right? Like, it didn't, like, reset me to cinches somehow. Yeah, see, Raymond, like, my dad was an absolute terror as a child. A teenager, and really as an adult. Like, he didn't change. Now, Jim, that is that is fair. But like when you're writing, you know, you can you can go off on tangents. Like that's that's fine. Like, I feel like Herman probably has the most famous tangent. Because he made an entire chapter out of it. Uh, Chris, I thought it was the trawler because it has the most surface area. I mean, Ray, but I, I figured it was just a typo. I mean, I liked ghost stories as a kid. They terrified me, but that's what I enjoyed. Actually, you know, I think my constant yearning for haunted houses and being disappointed by them comes from being put inside that behavioral hospital because that was done on Halloween night of 2004 and uh, that was probably the scariest uh, administrative experience I've ever had. Gear is the abrade fastest? Or the fastest? I mean, that is pretty fast. I just like the surface area of the trawler, you know? I can give it a go. I don't know if I'm going to finish this in 46 minutes, though. I'm going to guess if I want uh, salvage ships that actually have cargo, I'm going to have to go track them down around the stations. Oh, Jim, I don't even care about the material. I'm just trying to finish the, uh, the job itself, you know? Like, the material is really just a bonus. I mean, Chris, I can see three, maybe four. Because here's the thing. If you want to really fill up a reclaimer, you're going to have to run stuff down to storage. So what I would look at is get four people. And the person who is kind of new to it and doesn't really know what they're doing, 
they can move the boxes back and forth between uh, where they come out and the, uh, the the cargo storage. That way, you've still got someone up top who's free to uh, keep unloading. Oh, Logan, that sounds beautiful. How did you get in? You know, I kind of miss the Reclaimer. Ah, grim. Yeah, that makes sense. Only way to spawn one in space. Maybe I should have gone for something uh, yeah. smaller than a, uh, a hammerhead. Like, at least it's uh, you know, all flat surfaces. Mac, that is really weird. Well, Jim, is that for the legal or the illegal ones? So I know for the legal ones, you only have to do a little bit. This is one of those not-so-legals. Well, shoot, if that's the case, we're gonna, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna experiment, we're gonna try, you know? Uh, should I go back there? I guess I should. Whoops. Hey, Parker. Parker, after I tagged you in that message, I realized that those, uh, those skins can't be looked at until 320 goes live. Which is a shame. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, which, I mean, we should be getting it, what, what do you guys think? This week? Next week? Probably next week. I'm gonna say next week. Yeah, Parker, what with it going to all waves, which kind of worries me about the whole sea. You know, Lonix, I saw that. I don't know how to feel about it. Lonix, as, as someone who knows a bit more about... ...stuff than I do... Could you explain the significance of static server meshing? Like, I don't mean to give you homework, just if that's something that you might, might be able to do. <laughs> yeah, Jim, which, I mean, most of the jobs take place between Hurston and Crusader. So if you base yourself at, like, Crew L5, you've got a equal chance to get to either. Hey, Fishhead.
Ah, yes, citable sources. I need it in, what is that, Chicago format? Brunswick for what? This, there's certain formats. Yeah, Parker, I've probably bit off more than I can chew. Honestly, I came to show up to see if there was going to be cargo on board. And I'm pretty sure there's not. But MLA, that's it. You know, Fishhead, I think I am. Because Tar Pits is always like, hey, one of our guys had to abandon his ship. The cops know where it is. Could you go scrape it for us? Like, basically, you're being a cleaner. Which, you know, is cool, I guess. Wait, 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 Russell, hold up, hold up. Russell, you can't tell me it's your birthday and then say no singing. Ah, gotcha, Lonix. Okay, that makes sense. But Russell, it's it's your special day. It's your birthday. You see, Parker, I feel like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have to rap on anyone's birthday, it's gonna be deplorables. He's gonna he's gonna make me. He's gonna guilt me into it. Exactly, Raymond. That's what we're doing here. That way when the cops show up, they go, ah, dime. There is no way we can read the, the registration number. Tell you what, Russell. I'm a, I'm a big fan of consent. So if you 100% don't want me to sing happy birthday, I won't sing happy birthday. But I'd like to. <laughs> Heck yes. Thank you, Coyote. Thank you, bad. You're right. And it's my birthday, too. I swear, I share a birthday with everybody. See, Russell, everybody wants the song. Yeah, Parker, that's that's a fair cop. That's why I'm testing this one. Jessa, what's going on? Why can't you play it on PC? Oh, that's a good idea. Hold on. We could do that. I could just go buy the skins right quick and then uh, see what they look like. Would you guys be into that? Would you guys want to see that? Hey, bub. Oh, Justin, no, I'm sorry. And Russell, if that's the case, then I will respect your birthday wishes. Just know if you change your mind, it's there for you. And a wonderful happy birthday to you. Russell, what about like a, a spoken word, like, like, like a, like a, like, like some slam poetry, happy birthday.
Gotcha, and Lonix. Okay. All right. So that seems like that would help with a crap ton of stuff. Yeah, that's it, Logan. That's it. And yeah, I can. It sure is. Lonix, thank you so much. Like, that is an amazing an amazing explanation of all that. Like, I promise I'm reading, I'm just not, you know, reading out loud. But that is an amazing explanation. And I really appreciate that. Justin, what all did they change? <laughs> Matt, I, I might need an example of that. Like a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wow, I like that's 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 us. That's our light. That's our light. Ooh, Logan, that's embarrassing. How did that happen? You must be in a fairly unpopulated server if the AI is actually working. Oh, yeah, Justin, I immediately changed that as soon as I got in. Exactly, Lonix. Yeah. You got to show off that degree. Yeah, Coyote. I mean, you know, it's nice. Okay. You know, here's the thing about birthdays. Here's the thing about birthdays. Like, you know, like, the, the world ain't the greatest. But throughout it all, it's nice when you're slogging through another year to just have a day for no reason other than to have a day that's just like, hey guys, I exist. I'm here. And it's a celebration of, of liking someone enough to appreciate them being around. Like, I don't think there's a single person here who has not at one point or another asked, why am I here? Like, uh, contemplating the dread of, of existing is, is a human thing. and A birthday is a nice little uh, pushback against the tide of that existential dread, you know? Like, entropy and, and you know... The, the ceasing of everything is inevitable, but for one moment, against an uncaring and unceasing universe, I can whisper to myself, happy birthday, as I have a cupcake and get to enjoy myself for a little bit. Justin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that was in game. I am going to desperately hope that was in game. Yeah, Jim, there's a huge disparity between um, what CIG thinks pirate ships are and what pirate ships 
actually are. But Justin, you want to tell us more about it? Just in case it wasn't in game. I mean, only if you want to share. Sorry. Content. No, that's not good for me. Hey, Gadja. You know, today it's actually Russell's birthday. Oh, Justin, what uh, what happened? Guys, I don't know if I'm going to finish this before that timer's up. Yeah, Parker, like, I mean, if I try super hard or I just didn't get out of the seat and wasted, you know, a few boxes, I think I could maybe get it. That's kind of why I wanted to use the trawler just for the surface area. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even really here for the salvage, honestly. It's just a bonus. Wait, Coyote, is that what September's for? And yeah, Russell, like, I kind of want to try to go back to the trawlers just to see if the mass surface area will make it better, but... I believe Gearhound's calculations. With the abrade being faster. It's just the trawler has all that surface area. Oh, there is somebody! It's an ion, it's 12 kilometers away. Because, like, the abrade might be faster, but with the mass surface area coverage the trawler has, it just seems like it can really get in there and get all those little nooks and crannies. Justin, I am so sorry. Dude, I, I cannot stand, like, traffic road rage, especially that stuff when it's like, yeah, you cannot block the intersection. Like, that is, that is, that is a law. And people get so persnickety about that. Especially, like, some old folks. I mean, Ken, they're expanding the salvage missions in 320. Maybe, maybe play around with it in 320 a little bit before IAE, just to make sure. Justin, I am too, man. Like, jeez. Oh, See, like, I drive slow. I drive a small car. I've noticed a lot of huge trucks love messing with uh, with my type. You know, it's little cars trying to get from point A to point B. And then like it's it's like a it's like a cat thing. They're like cats. Where they set themselves up for any sort of addressing. And then when it's done, they get to play the victim and then overly retaliate. Like, see? 
See, he was messing with me, like when they're the ones setting up the situation. Yeah, see, Logan, I'm in, I'm, I'm in a 2015 fit. And I love my fit. If I drive it just right, I can get about 50 miles per gallon. It's just, you know, you get that whole small car syndrome where somebody in a Dodge Ram is like, I'm going to go be an absolute jerk to that car for no reason. Dude, I am so sorry, man. Are you okay? Like, I'm going to assume she didn't, like, you know, blast one off and start opening up with the high point LC9 Yeet Cannon. You guys remember that? When High Point I made the mistake of uh, asking the internet to name their next gun? We well, see there and here it's a stereotype. Like, I don't know about your neck of the woods, but in the south it's like if you're gonna get accosted by someone, it's gonna be someone in a dually, usually a ram. Or someone's F one fifty they're using for their construction company. But usually it's a ram. Something about Arkansas, or maybe just the South. It's like, it's always the Dodge Ram. I don't know why. I don't make the rules. Yeah, see, here's all the stuff that I missed. I mean, it's also dark. Ah, okay. Yeah, see, you're in... Sin yeah, yeah, we're in the same neck then. Well, you see, Coyote, several years ago, High Point held a contest on the internet, which is the worst place to do something, um, where they had a contest to name their next model of 9mm. And unfortunately, they were freeform submissions. And the one that won was Yeet Cannon. And yes, that is Yeet. Y-E-E-T. And they tried to back out of it. They called it hacks, shenanigans, all this stuff. And then H and K, yes, that H and K, the you have to be crazy rich to afford an H and K, said that uh, you know High Point better man up because if they don't do it, they'll name a gun the Heat Cannon. So High Point begrudgingly honored the terms of their own their own uh, contest and named the gun the was it the uh, YC9 Yeet Cannon or Y9C it should still be on their website but yeah yeah that was a thing Getting close. You know, Ken, I don't know. I feel like. I feel like. If anything, what would be comparable to the cutter would be like a 97 Toyota Camry. It's like, why is this thing still on the road? And yet, it's still on the road and it's surprisingly decent on the road like it should have been retired 20 years ago and yet aside from the oil leak and that funny noise every now and then it works fine the air conditioning's still cold it's just a late model import crap box that's still running amazingly well Ooh, Parker, tell me more about that ISC once you finish. Hey, Adam. Oh, yeah, no, high, like, Chris, like, high point, I, I, uh, make no mistake, high point is not, no one's, 
No one's winning any competitions with a high point. Except maybe for best boat anchor. I just, they happen to have that mistake of a contest. I feel like there's a lot of audio that is suddenly disappearing in Star Citizen. You guys noticing that? Parker, whatever do you mean? Wait to get in trouble. I usually don't wait for anything. Uh, Adam, I'm kind of testing the... the newer missions they have for like, hi. Scrape my hammerhead. Like, look at that. No, I'm not, there we go. Yeah, sounds be weird. Although, I don't know if I'm going to get this thing down to 70% in time. Oh, Coyote, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. See, I feel like I should just abandon this and go look for random salvage wrecks to see if they have cargo on them. Because that's what I originally wanted to do. Hey, Nusha. See if we can find all that juicy cargo on them. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Cause like, uh, we still have this whole thing to go and yeah. Yeah, Parker, I just, I bit off more than I could chew and, uh, it's totally my fault. Totally my fault. Now I bet there's a C2 at her L3. We're going to go to her L3. You know, Raymond, I have no idea. Um, I have I have no idea. Wow, sound is horrendous. Yeah, like, we're still getting the jumping sound. Oh, man, Ken. You might be lucky to fit, like, a... A... A gray cat. Raymond, I think you can still sell a few at, like, the orbital stations, like, by Genie and such. Tell you what. I'm gonna hunt. I'm gonna hunt for these for a little bit.
But while I wait, while I wait, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up those skins. Then do an account recopy. And see if we can look at the, uh, the fun pirate skins. You guys wanna try that? Uh, Luge, it's a, it's a PTU thing. They put it there in PTU, that way if you have a bug to report, you can put the screenshot with it. I think you can get rid of it, I just haven't bothered trying. Seems like the longer I'm in game, the more weird it gets. Actually, Jason, you're you're correct that it wasn't <laughs> I know you're being sarcastic but that is correct you could only get them with monies I'm using store credit to pick them up yeah man park I really hope they fix that by the time this uh drops like we're spooling up and the audio is not going to catch up for how long Parker let me know if you got them Okay. So I need to fix my ping because um, the button they have tried to move it to, I have made my. Interact button. So let's see if we can do that. What would that be under? That's active scanning. In a cockpit? Open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my scanning mode. Missile operator, uh huh. None of those. It's literally just view. What is that keybind under? Toggle VTOL. Yeah, it sounds like audio caught up. It's all throttles. At least it's attempting to catch up. Eh, I tried. Hmm. What is that going to be under? Not radar. Is it? Is that it?
Aha, that was it. Aha. Aha. Good job, Raymond. You were right. Oh, that's that's oh, that's a lot of uh Why am I detecting something at 12 million? We still detect, like... We can't detect other different uh, signatures, can we? We're just gonna have to fly to it, okay. That's definitely a rock. The audio slowing down. Oh, that's got to get fixed before they go live. That is really throwing me off. Okay, so it's, since it's been forever since I've really done salvage, is there a particular way to iron out at a distance what is a rock and uh, what is not a rock without, you know, getting straight up on it? I know you used to be able to with the whole signature thing. I don't know if you can anymore. Hello, Rock. That was almost a really bad time. <laughs> See, those are all rocks. That's probably a rock. Yeah, I can. Have a good day, man. Twenty-eight thousand. Okay, that's got to be a ship. Twenty-eight thousand. See, yeah, that's what I figured. I didn't know if they actually fixed it. 28,000. That's just that's not like a ton of rocks, right? Like it's a large amount of rock. It's a large amount of rock. Thank you, Ken. Heck yes, thank you, Ben. Thank you. Heck yes. And thank you, Frequency. Now, where is the C2 I'm picking up 5K? Frequency, I feel like you've got the appropriate name for being able to tell me the, uh, the scanner amounts. Okay, apparently I have this thing targeted. But I'm not... Seen it. 
Okay, that's putting me away slowly. It's putting me away from a period. Okay, that's closing distance. It's closing distance faster. There it is. Okay. Oh, scrap is good. But you see, Parker, the thing I came for is to see if there's any cargo on these lost and abandoned ships. And of course, my scanner is going to go silly. Oh, why don't we just hop on board, see what we've got. You know, frequency, I'm not sure. Is my I'll just I'll just exit seat and then jump out the side. See frequency, I usually just do hauling. And uh I haven't really got to mess with the uh, the scanners at all. Uh, Gearham, they did. It's a little annoying. <coughs> I had to put mine back on tab. Oh, it's empty. The whole thing is empty. Lame. I was really hoping it was going to have some cargo. Tell you what, gear, the entering via EVA is uh, having some issues. We'll just do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, Moz, it works a little bit better. Muzz, apparently that's a, uh, a thing where your MFD, as long as you don't claim the ship, keeps, keeps a memory. I don't know if you guys are reading this in-game chat, but uh, that is... Oh, that's a thing. I really, I really wish this could fit. Man, I wish this could fit. Just, 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 no. Okay. Well, I tried. You know, Coyote, I think I remember something about that. All right. Let's keep scanning. What can we get? 10,000. That's a nice even number. That could be a spaceship. Nope. 
But hey, look. The panels are back. Yeah, low brass. I haven't got to watch the ISC yet, but that's what I'm suspecting. Glad these things are back, though. I mean, I don't do a lot of salvage, but, you know, it's nice to see. But low brass, if you've got to see it, tell me more. Like, I'll watch it once I'm done with, uh... Once I'm done with, you know, this. I'm getting a massive audio delay, though, in-game. Really hope they fix that. Yeah, Simmy. You see, Low Brass, I'm hoping they make it uh, worthwhile because they've got this really bad habit of making cargo <coughs> suck. That's 8,000. That could be a ship. Yeah, frequency. That part is true. The reason I'm doing this, though, frequency, is that there was a report I read yesterday of a player who uh, found a crap ton of cargo in a salvage C2. He reported that it was Terranite. And I'm trying to figure out if this is going to be a wild goose chase. If this was during a salvage contract. Or if what I am suspecting is that our leg was being pulled. And I'm suspecting the leg, really suspecting the leg. I'm sorry, Granulus, what? I don't know how I feel about, about that. C frequency, that's nice. I didn't think about that. Now, low breaths, when you say local inventory, are we talking about, like, ship pains and everything else that we've got? Like, in town? Like, what are we, what are we talking about? Or, like, ship inventories? That's all going to cargo boxes? All right, I'm going to say Oh, removing outpost inventory, but that's my favorite thing. Uh, let's see. Well, I think that's a mistake. I should be able to store stuff anywhere like a squirrel. You think the whole A would have salvage? Or, uh, have any cargo on it? We're gonna go find out. You see, Muzz, I don't know if you've ever played, uh, Sons of the Forest. But their inventory system is hot, absolute garbage. 
And it's cool to see CIG going the same way. All right, we'll stop off here, grab some fuel real quick. Oh, Russell, dude, I am an absolute loot goblin. That is my other issue with Starfield. Starfield gives me so much loot to sell. And shopkeepers have a stupidly low amount of money to buy stuff. Like, I show up to a shopkeep, I can sell two guns and they're poor. So, like, I have to travel the known universe to unload about ten guns and some helmets. Oh, Parker, you got you can actually see it? Alright, tell you what. I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna recopy my account. So we can check out these Meridian skins. You guys good with that? I mean I ask like, you know. Like you have a, a real choice, I guess. Actually, you know what? I've got the store credit. And since this is uh, PTU, I can just try them all on. Matt, is that what those were? I didn't play a lot. It was purchased for me. And I was like, yeah, I'll play this. And then that hideous inventory system really ticked me off. Especially because it's like, oh, you need to eat. You need to do this stuff. You need to do that stuff. And then you do that stuff. It's like, oh, you need to eat constantly. But for a game that is supposed to be survival, or survival-like, um, I can only carry three fish. I can only carry three fish in my giant backpack because there's a fish area. And apparently I can't stick a fish anywhere else. And that ticked me off so much. So very, very, very much. Where in the world are these silly skins for sale? Sorry, I'm on the, the thing where they have the thing. I know that made a lot of sense. Yes, apply, store credit. Continue. The lace order. Yada, yada, yada. Game won't be out forever. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That has been purchased. Yeah, but Russell, like, that takes 24, 30 seconds or whatever, and that's it's so annoying. It's like, hi, yes, I'm a shopkeep in a game, a thing that's not real, and yet I don't have any money to purchase inventory with. See, frequency, that's what I don't want to know about the cargo boxes. But. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit out right quick, recopy my account. That way we can see these beautiful Meridian skins. Unless, of course, Parker's trolling me. Which, Parker, if you are, wonderful job, sir. Wonderful job. Coyote, that was uh, only one time. One time. Hey, Lobotomy. Uh, as far as what I was doing there, I was testing to see if uh, salvage ships had any better cargo on them now. Okay, that was very quick. Let's see if that actually has finished porting me over. Yeah, Parker, I don't think they actually have uh, pirate logos. On them. Well, the account has been copied to PTU. Uh, just to be safe. Do another logout.
Yeah, I like how the uh, the pirate ships don't have anything on them to say they were, you know. Man, Russell, I have so many things against Fallout 76. Like, okay. When 76 was first announced, there were no NPCs. Which is silly. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish there was a way to like check. Never offer me the tutorial. Hey, Caleb. Well, yeah, a coyote, but you know, it's uh, like, okay, the gun stores. You know, I go to the gun stores all the time in in, in video games. And uh, there's just, you know. Yeah, exactly, Darren. Like, they expect players to not be exaggerated caricatures of, of players. But I mean, those are pretty good numbers, I would say. Like, the vulture, okay, like, you know, to make the boxes, I feel like they should be worth a lot more. I figure they're trying to put the jobs in for the vulture crowd, that way they can actually make money and not have it specifically tied to the, uh, Oh, they're still doing that. Whoa, I see a mark. Hello, sir. You think we can talk him off the ledge? Sir, it's not worth it. Star Citizen will come out eventually. All you have to do is believe. Lobotomy is, is pointing an actual... We have point. There we go. You there! You see, okay. Alright. I can actually use this guy as a case in point about why Starfield NPCs look so creepy. Alright, so you got a muscle up here in your eyes. When you smile, this muscle usually contracts part of your eyes as well to make them a bit more, like, you know, squinty. These guys actually have that. They they will squint oh so slightly when they do a bright smile. Starfield NPCs do not. That's why they look creepy. I mean, like, he still has a dead-eyed stare, but they get the smile thing right. All right, sir, I'm going to need you to... Um All right, sir. Need you to go bye-bye. Ooh, I guess you can't, like, when they're actually leaning. Muzz, did you? Congratulations, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, Chris. I mean, Coyote, at my age, anyone having a smile while looking there is, is good in my book. <laughs> I guess this guy is going to be the master of his own fate. Like the last one. Come on, come on, walk away. Squadron 42 will be out in two years. Nope, that didn't do it. Well, you see, Muzz, I, uh, I think, like, when they're on those, like, there's nothing you can do to really move them. I'm sorry, is that a Hyper Vanguard Force 4 t-shirt? It is. Dude. Okay, you know what? You know what? That's kind of cool. Oh, I hate that. That's kind of cool. Uh, I would... Okay, listen. If they made subscriber gear like this, if they had subscriber gear like this, I wouldn't whine so much about the whole subscriber thing. Like, if they got me a spacesuit that had scrolling Hyper Vanguard Force 4 stuff on it, Parker, is that where I can get it? Okay, well, I might have to go to New Babs. Exactly, Darren. Like, you know, you got the dialogue from the game. You get all Meredith and Balthazar. And... Ah, man. I was really hoping this guy would jump, but I don't, I don't think he's going to. All right, you get to live this time. Man, just all, all the NPCs right there. Okay, let's go with these paint jobs. And yeah, Nusha, I saw you. I, I, I didn't know if you were still here or not. I was going to tell you, double check your keybinds because, like, if you're trying to start the ship up and nothing's working, they've changed the flight ready keybind. Oh, Charlie. It might still be at the cassava. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to grab some more water. With convenient connection trams across all major commercial areas of our car, Tram City Point is business travel made simple. Oh, see, Nusha, it could be that, too. Sticks. I feel like sticks have a lot of problems. Especially for PTU builds. Jaren, I did, and I've got 18 minutes. And, Simi, that is true. You know, Simi, okay. This is slightly on topic. I keep getting emails from a place called Video Beehive that want to teach me how to craft my unique YouTube identity. And I feel like, if anything, something called the Beehive, which is known for lots of baseless same literal drones is probably the worst named thing to tell me about crafting my unique 
you know. Uh, unique identity. Exactly, Darren. It's like the Borg telling Picard to be yourself. Like, is that a thing? Do people... Okay, I can't read with that up there. Is that a thing? Do people need to craft identities? Okay, I got it. I don't know which one is which. I'm sure they both work the same. You guys noticed that most of the uh, <clears throat> most of the ships they got for the uh, for the thing are Crusader ships. Ooh, Russell, what's for birthday dinner? Oh, it's fine. You can tell me later. Have a good one, Russell. And once again, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Howdy, AM. Oh, what was that other pirate ship? Or supposed pirate ship. I'm just I'm just gonna have to go to the website. I can't even remember. Exactly, Parker. Like, CIG doesn't know what what pirate ships are. Ah, the eclipse, that's what it was. Like they're going with these, like these. These aren't even like lore-based pirate ships. The Eclipse is not a pirate ship. If it torpedoes something, I'm sorry. Do I not have an Eclipse on this list? Do I need to go purchase an Eclipse? I do not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, Peaks. I mean, somebody did. All right, all right. What the crap is this? Oh, right. That was a subscriber paint. But I have never all of us used. I'm going to be a pirate with my love struck paint. Time. I got this. The full intent of using it. I never actually got to see it. Uh, no, Parker, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Like, none of these are pirate ships. No one is... Wow, I have a lot of Star Runner skins. For a ship that I never fly. I got a lot of these skins. Yeah, Buzz? To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Is the Eclipse a very good pirate ship? I mean, I guess you can recover the the wreckage. All right, we're just gonna go down the list. We'll just we'll just go down the list, check these all out. See what these look like. Um, come on. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars, our corp is proud to bring the universe closer. Fine. No. Oh, come on. Oh, that was, oh, that was vile. Hangar three. You know, maybe it's just the uh, the low lighting, but it doesn't really look too far off the regular uh, Inferno.
And again, maybe it's maybe it's just the lighting. Like is it is it daytime? I don't remember. I can't even I can't even look. I can't even tell. Okay. It's daytime. We'll take it out, see what it looks like in the day. I mean, it's nice, you know, it's, uh, it's silver, I guess. Yeah, exactly, Coyote. Like, all the pirates I know have been, uh, oh, that's not going to stop in time. I'm going to not die. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Please yeah, exactly. Like, they always, you know, disable or, or crash it. Red flag it. Did I not hit you, sir? Who the crap are you? Haha, <laughs> you tried. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, death not yet. Oh, he's trying. I'm stealing it. Initiating ship storage procedure. We're already at hangar 3. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Death, that's the next one up. Oh, well, now I have no idea where that one's going. He's just going to have to find it now. <laughs> yeah, Simi, it's shiny. Death, that wasn't you, was it? So it is. I apologize for uh, stealing your... Uh, Thing. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has Hang a seven. I wonder if he's going around to all the hangers and putting those directly in the center. That way, when people land, they explode. Because I don't think they ever fix that, where uh, landing on those carts explodes your ship. All right, let's go see what this thing looks like. Which, admittedly... Request has already been granted. I won't take the elevator up. I am glad they got the underside. Yeah, Parker, that's, that's what I'm really looking forward to. One day they'll they'll change the interiors too. Yeah, Lonix. Yeah, the elevator actually works instead of being Chiantec. Okay, well that looks nice. That does look good. We've got enough ship to actually look at it. Oh, hey, look, it's my friend. Now, is he grabbing stuff? Where is he? Where is he? I saw him over here looking for stuff to grab. He's trying to get on. I think he's trying to get on. We saw him. Yeah, I saw him. There he is. Did we smash him? Did we smash him? Smash! 
Smash. <laughs> Smash. 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 C2 smash. Oh, did he die? Did he did he die? Please be dead. Is he is he dead? I can't. He looks kind of dead. You think he's dead? Yeah, let's let's go look. Let's go look. Let's see if he's dead. Oh, death! I didn't kill him. How could I? I didn't use a gun. Uh, Brace, his gear, um, his gear disappeared because he died in armistice inside a city. That's why he didn't lose any gear. But I do want to go see who it was. Oh, did I park on him? Did I park on him? No, I didn't park on him, did I? I think it already cleaned up his corpse. Okay, yeah, I think it cleaned up his corpse. I'll double check once I'm in seat again. But I'm pretty sure I just... I guess I could ask in, in global chat. Oh, coyote. They may have fixed that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, his body's gone. They cleaned him up. Thank you for that. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. With that brushed steel look. Being proper dark. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's Din Din right there. And Elvis, not yet. I'm gonna watch it once I uh, once I finish up here. Uh, Lonix, I think it's thirteen dollars eleven. Here, let me get above the cloud cover so we can actually see this in in full light. good skin and I'm glad they actually paid attention to the underside I mean coyote I would but I feel like my my connection would probably freak if I was you know watching stuff while streaming at the same time yeah Lonix I might actually keep it I don't really fly my uh, I don't really fly my C2 a whole lot though Now, Granulus, that is true. That is absolutely true. Let's go look at the, uh... Let's go look at the, the Star Runner.
Oh, Elvis, I'm not gonna subject people to that. Tell you what, tell you what. I'm gonna make two reaction videos that I can apply to everything. It'll just be a video of either me going, I liked it, or me going, I didn't like it. And that'll be it. That'll be the two reaction videos and then if someone asks me if I liked something or not, or how I felt about something, I can link either one. That way, I only ever have to make two reaction videos. And, uh... <laughs> they'll be three seconds each. <laughs> Alert. Alert. Yeah, see, that's the part I'm excited for, Elvis. I really want to see that. We, is our friend back? He's probably just, like, hunting for hangers to mess around in. But yeah, this is a... It's a decent skin. I might actually keep that. All right, let's check out the Star Runner. Oh, Apple, it's very shiny. Well, you know, Lonix, the thing about the Meridian paint on the MSR, and I'll actually I'll just show you my issue right now. So check this out, Lonix. You can get the Meridian paint for the Star Runner, which up, up. Time to take some pills, which means I need to get some more water, but... Let me just show you this this point right quick. So, Lonix, you can get the paint for the Star Runner, which looks like this. You know, all, all steel, brushed metal. Or, or, Lonix, you can wait until... July? August? And you can take someone out to do whatever mission for half an hour and get this, which is pretty much the exact same, but with teal highlights. It is quite literally the, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Well, I guess there's a new patch rolling out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Parker, looks like a new patch just dropped. Sorry, I'm logging in to see if that actually has updated so I can I can get back in game. Uh Forsaken, I actually did not uh back the MSR or I didn't actually what was going on? There was the thing where you could do the thing to get it. But I was I was doing something at the time and wasn't able to get around to getting that skin. I want it, I just can't get it. Yeah, Jason, good. I like Camerol. I know a lot of people rag on him. But dude does a lot of testing for not a lot of recognition. But he's able to not only have the receipts for things that have changed, but uh, have the date on those receipts. You know, Grano said it was a good time for my meds. And Starfield, oh, Lonic Starfield doesn't sound half bad. I kind, I think I might just do some Starfield tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like I'm still at a 1900.
Yeah, Apple, I'm pretty sure it did close. Because that was one where you had to, like, track down the ship and find out where it was. Yeah, one sec. Let me go grab some water. Okay, pill time. And by the way, did anybody still need Pirate Swarm before that change is over? Because the data is rapidly approaching. And if you need to knock out Pirate Swarm, I am totally available to help out and will do. Uh, so Lonix, what's happening is they're they're updating Pirate Swarm again. So if you want to be able to get the uh, the badge, then the 2949 one, you'll need to do Pirate Swarm. Also, it's not confirmed, and I don't want to scare anybody. But with CIG's very poor wording, it's made to sound like the ability to buy the Pirate Gladius and Caterpillar might be going away with it. It's not confirmed. Obviously, CIG likes to do the thing where they suddenly take something down without telling anybody. But um, if you would like the ability to purchase those, I would say go ahead and get it. Yeah, Parker, we might be forced into Starfield after all. So yeah, that's that's what's going on with Elonix. Like, yeah, if anybody wants to join, in fact, I'm gonna try to upload, or I'm gonna try to go in and see if I can actually access my friends list without getting, <clears throat> you know, kicked to desktop. You know, Parker. I I'm I'm actually kind of excited for Seraphim. But I will miss Port Alasar. Mostly because everybody hung out there to shoot other people. So it kept them far away from me. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but I pretty much avoid going to uh to Alasar. Okay, let's let's see if this will work. I doubt it will, but I can try. Multiplayer, pirate swarm. Oh, this is this is gonna crash again. This is gonna crash. Uh, Malcolm, full name on what? Uh, yes, Adam. Pirate Swarm will be in the PU. 
Nusha, did it just drop? I mean, that's convenient because my game's about to crash. I literally cannot open my my friends list. Uh, Malcolm, uh, P.O. is Port Olisar. Was literally the very first station in-game in, like, what, 2016? Yep, my game crashed. My game crashed. Ha 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 Nusha, I don't believe so. Uh, it'll fit in the Freelancer Max, though. I think? Think it'll fit in the Max? Yeah, Parker, I'm updating it now. I guess I could read the, uh, the patch notes and see what's new. Yeah, Berlin. I mean, if you guys need it, we could try to do something on the on the weekend too, or like off stream hours. Who? That's a long list of known issues. It's a long list of known issues. Anything that affects me. Hmm. PU Armistice. No damage to ships occurs when an armistice... If the ship is tied to a player or AI. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything. Like, what was, what was changed? I guess just the bug fixes. And they've increased the list of known issues? Okay, so nothing. Nothing too major. All right, well, let's dive back in. Yeah, Berlin, I still need to go to Port Olisar just to say that I was there to get that little thing. I mean, you know, Nusha, if you got the C2, you could put multiple razors in there. Or, or Nusha, a razor and the medical Pisces. That way, you would have, uh, you know, medical um, <clears throat> hardware. Available. Oh, Adam, you don't suck. The only difference is experience and confidence. And sometimes confidence when uh, you don't have any at home, store-bought delusion is just fine. You know, a lot of people will replace confidence with delusion, and it's okay to do so. Honestly, Kat, I think you're looking at uh, probably next week. Because they've opened it up to all waves. So unless there's any sort of major blocker going on, you're probably looking at another week, Tops. Ooh, did it. Grand, unless you're going to put Port Alisar as your desktop. Are you gonna miss it that much? 
<laughs> Jason. <laughs> Sorry, I have bad memories at Port Alasar. Like, as soon as I could leave Port Alasar, I, I did. I did. I need... I need a multi-tool. You know, Cat, I don't think there will be. I don't think there's going to be a wipe. I mean, okay, so Granulous, I've never been killed by an elevator there. Chat is going slow. And yeah, Noosh, have a good night, man. I'm sorry, is it is it not going to take my message? With convenient connection trams across all major commercial areas of our corp, city flight is business travel made simple. Wow. Wow, when the game can't even take chat. Oh, physic, it happens all the time. And Kai, good to see ya. There you go, Forsaken. Yeah. You know, Physic, a long time ago, years ago, I made a commercial for the Prospector. Just like a little used car lot Prospector thing. You know, it was terrible. It was terrible. Absolutely trash. Um. Anyway, I wanted to get a scene of the doors closing in my face because that would be perfect for this whole like doing this thing where it's like oh you know go to a job that sucks blah 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 you know toss all that and you know be your own boss anyway while I was filming that it took me a solid hour to get the doors to close in my face perfectly oh Adam if your whole live list is gone that's going to be a uh, a back end issue. Totally not me. I didn't go in there and delete the entire From thing. Transforming worlds to exploring the stars. Our corp is proud to bring the universe closer together. Our corp. Jeez, now everything's going through.
Okay, so does that mean I have to reset everything? It does. For the latest travel information, okay, okay. And put the skin back on this. Yeah, it'll it'll probably go through on PU. I'll accept it once I once I get back to there. Or I can accept it on the website too. Sorry, I just want to see this this Star Runner skin so I can be like, yep, it's the Foundation Festival, just without the the teal. Oh, I didn't realize they actually that they changed the cockpit color on on the red alert one. Okay, that's that's nice. That's nice. Yes, Coyote, meds are taken. Uh, Simi, I have tested the whole C extensively. Um... Man, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not... good. They're... I wish I could be like, ah, yes, the next iteration of cargo. A bright future for all, but sadly the whole sea is, um... Man, unless they just horrendously improve it and... What? Are you... What? I wish you a beneficial and prosperous stay. Welcome to the Aesop Vehicle Retrieval System. Honestly, Phaedrus, it's just the current gameplay. The ship is fine. The, the ship is absolutely fine. I have no issues with the ship. It's all the gameplay around it. Like, station to station trading is just set up in such a poor way that I derive no joy from it. And yeah, Elvis, like, it will get better. It's just, as a current tier zero, and again, I know, it's tier zero. It's tier zero. We've only waited uh, eight years for it. Um, but as a tier zero implementation, just no part about it derives joy for me. And also, keep in mind that I really enjoy landing. I enjoy flying. I enjoy having to go from outpost to outpost and whatnot. So maybe it's just not the ship for me because it is focused exclusively on station to station trading. So maybe I'm also the wrong person to ask, but through all my testing of it, nothing about the experience has been satisfying. I haven't felt like, oh boy, I've achieved something. Or, like, I've made my big money number go up. It's just been like, oh, thank God, this is finally working. You know, that's a lot of silver on gray. Let's, let's, let's launch. See what this looks like in the daylight. Yeah, Phaedrus, that's kind of the point, too. You're, you're onto something there. Hey, James. Ah, uh, lobotomy. I wish we could just have custom paint jobs, period, man. Yeah, Adam, that's, I think that's just an issue with Arena Commander right now. There's something there, but they're not telling you what it is. And when you update, it's not reflecting the updates. And of course it's it's nighttime. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We'll just go to space. Yeah, Phaedrus. Phaedrus, what was that uh what was that like uh, car manufacturer ad where the lady kept like rubbing the car and like whispering the name of the car that everybody made fun of and would like record themselves doing the same thing with like Toyota or a tank. Whatever. Oh, 
James, I'm sorry, man. Dental surgery sounds rough. What in the world am I picking up at 800 kilometers? Inside the planet. <sighs> Go home, Scanner. You're, you're drunk. Ah, Bentley, yes. Like, I know the, the poor model lady is just doing her job, but man, that whole thing got dragged for that. You see, Kai, I was really worried that maybe I would have to pick up a whole D for my buyback because it would be the same price as what the whole C would be now. Oh, Parker, I'm sorry, man. And why do we have to hold it? Why can't we just... Like, if I can still go this fast, why do I... Why do I have to hold it? Not yet, Physic. Yeah, Phaedrus. Like, it was... I, I think it was originally, like, a, a Twitter thing or something. Anyway, she's just, like, caressing different parts of the car while whispering, like, Bentley. And... Oh, people. People went to absolute town with that video. Like, making their own about, like, their crappy cars. Like, some... Some dude in an Eastern European country did one for his, like, BMP. Like, he would punch the side of it and be like, BMP. Okay, now we can see this. Yeah, Physic. Oh, that was a good one, too. I mean, it's... It's alright. I feel like a lot of the plating kind of breaks up the uh, the blackness of it. Like, I feel like if something is going to be like this color, and I know it's not black, it's more like the brushed metal, but I feel like there shouldn't be so many plating bits to break it up. Oh, Phaedrus, just, just, just type in Bentley commercial, you'll find it. Like, they got some model to just whisper Bentley while like flicking the the turn signal and and like flicking the ornament for some reason like the hood ornament oh yeah the tractor version was good ah is that so physic thank you Wait, Coyote, is that what it actually was? It was an ASMR clip for, for... Okay, I'm confused. Who was the target audience? Oh, actually, oh, no, okay, that's not the... I know who the target audience was. What was the theme? Because it seems like they always have themes. Like, was it actually like a, a Bentley-sponsored thing? Right, Simi. That's 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 what I need. Like, if this is a pirate skin, which why why is Meridian considered a pirate skin? I'm gonna go pirating in my uh, my 400i. Actually, there is something I want to know. One, will this paint job work on the M2? I don't have an M2. I'm gonna have to go buy an M2. I mean, Phaedrus, that's, that's fair. But everybody likes shiny things. That doesn't have to be a pirate-specific thing, right?
Oh, Muzz, come on. I didn't do that. I was never like, wow, guys, this, this paint job is so cool. Go by. And then, you know, get my cut from CIG. They don't even like me. Oh man, guys, water. Water's good. Water is so good. Did, uh. Did Area 18 get darker? Look, like Area 18 got darker. Ha! Huh. Hey, look at that. There are four lights. Oh, they went away. Hey, Mr. Brooks. Oh, I mean, Jason, that's fair. I mean, like, that's the point of all marketing. Even if you're being ridiculed, you're still getting your name out there. Like, you know, if, if I had more of a... You know, if I actually cared about doing any marketing, I'd make, like, silly videos with, like, twerking caterpillars on TikTok. Or something silly like that, you know. I just felt bad, like, when she flicked the hood ornament. Like, that just seems like it's mean to the car. Yeah, Brooks. Yeah, I, I think everything, but, I don't know, maybe clouds? I don't know. Let me look. 2K, borderless, very high, 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 high. I do keep motion blur off though, because I don't like motion blur. Oh, that's where that is. I can just turn that off right there. Look at that. Uh, Flaky, haven't got to watch it yet. I will after the stream. But I haven't got to watch it yet. Good to see you, man. You know, Jack, I, I have no idea. I actually used to get really good frames on my old 1070 while streaming in 2K. And uh, I would say the trick is to just get lucky, honestly. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull a C2, put a Pontus in it, fly to, to, what do you call that place? The place with the ships and the, the clouds. Um, to the M2. See if we can slap an M2 or the paint job on the M2. And I also want to know if the M2 can carry 32 SCU boxes. Because if it can... That would be for very interesting for, uh, for Pirates. The departure and arrival boards conveniently located throughout the spaceport. Ba -ba -da -bum, ba -ba -da -bum. Flaky, I hope that that is an actual mission where it's like, Hi, we're setting up uh, a new hot dog place in so-and-so. Uh, could you haul these giant hot dogs for us? To the place like that would be such a fun mission i would run that mission all the time uh accio it does not i think the largest boxes you can get inside the cutlass are maybe the four or eight scu boxes cutlass definitely deals in small box 32 is actually okay the caterpillar can't even carry 32 scu boxes so, yeah. Wait, Akio, who's, who told you 32 SCU? Who lied to you? That's it, Coyote. You know, they were hiring not too long ago. I would drive that. I would drive the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Your 
Well, you see, Parker, I figured the M2 would actually be a good pirate ship if it can hold 32 SCU. Because while not having the same cargo capacity as, say, you know, um... For the latest travel information, what do you call that? Sure the as a C2. As long as it can hold the 32 SCU boxes, you've got more... You've got more gun you can bring onto a prospective mark. And uh, your gunner can also double as a loader. Simi, you got a 32 SCU box and a cutlass. How? They're huge! Now, Akio, there is always a chance it could be a 24 SCU box or a 16. The 32 SCU boxes are massive. Yeah, low brass. It was actually supposed to do that in this patch. Uh, so Berlin, I actually tested the raft. And it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, so the raft is the one ship that does not work with the new cargo system. You know, the ship built specifically for the new cargo. Yeah, the 24 SCU boxes are very rare. I think only the Caterpillar and... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the other ship that uses them. Like, I, I know the Corsair can take a 32 SCU box. Maybe the Corsair will actually get used for pirating now. Oh, Akio, it's the bulkheads. Honestly, it could carry the 32s if uh, they just got rid of some of the bulkheads. Right, low brass, like, hi guys, we've got a new cargo system coming up. And uh, we've got a ship designed specifically for it. If you buy this ship, you'll be able to take advantage of this new cargo system when it comes out. And then you get it, and it's like, wow, it's the last ship to be updated for it. Honestly, I would say going forward, buying any sort of specially designed ship or vehicle to do a task is probably the worst thing to do. Like, the mule. The mule was supposedly designed to help ferry cargo to ships for loading. But guess what? All the ships now take boxes that are bigger than one SCU. So what does the mule do? What is the point of the mule? What, what does the mule do? It was made obsolete the moment it was announced like in fact I'm pretty sure they already had the design details for the bigger cargo system when the mule was built Like, I love the mule, but man, that is a niche, niche ride, you know? I mean, Muzz, that is true. It has an amazing self-destruct.
you know, Fizzik, that is a fair point about that uh, that raft Q and A, where it's like, oh no, it's supposed to be an actual standalone independent ship. Yeah, but Phaedrus, we could use, you know, an actual forklift. Like, if they had, like, a super mule that could load 32 SEU crates. You think so, Coyote? Tell me more. I, I like this. I like this theory. Like, I feel like it shares a lot of design with the rock. And they realize they could just quickly retool the rock and sell it. And does it, Parker? Nice. Well, I'm still going to go test those 32 SCU boxes. I'm going to go buy a bunch of stuff and then probably wrap up the stream. Exactly, Kai. Just like the Rock of DS. I'm going to say the mule was like the, the Rock D. Apple, I mm, no, don't tell CIG that. I would, I would straight buy a Drake workhorse. Oh no, don't tell me it's on. Oh man, always with the nighttime and or uh, can never get these places in the day. Now, Phaedrus, I would buy that if they had cool, you know variants of the mule I would I would I'd be like okay that's neat yeah you know physic I'm I'm so worried about that because part of the marketing was the you can go for longer haul more it's like but you can't it's like the driver gets an enclosed cockpit where they're totally safe from everything but the passenger the passenger just dies Like, Kai, am I supposed to have, like, a bunch of prisoners from Klesher on a work release program? And, like, when one dies, it's like, next.
Apple, which one? I mean, you know, okay, so here's the thing. Outside of Star Citizen, there's this Truth and Advertising Act where the ad has to be somewhat truthful. But in Star Citizen, that ain't a thing. That is, that is not a thing. Ah, thank you, weird lighting thing. So much better. Uh, you know, Taryn, I actually don't know. I've spent all my time testing the whole sea so far. That sounds about right. I'm sure glad that the spaceport is lit up at night, in case anything ever went wrong with my equipment. That way I can see which way I'm going. seeing people respond to you, but I'm not seeing your messages. It's on. Welcome back, Raven. Uh, yes, medications have been taken. Exactly, Darren. Like, I know lighting is so resource intensive in games. Is it? Oh, that's my Crusader chat. There we go. You know, Muzz, I might actually give up and try reshade just so I can see where I'm going. Hey, Greg. Welcome. System. You see, Greg, okay, here's the thing. I've always wanted to work in marketing or advertising. Really, I just enjoy coming up with crackpot things to shout at people. New visitors to Orsa, <clears> but, fun, you know, tempering that with a soul is also <coughs> difficult. Yeah, Flaky, are you are you still here, man? If you are, could you could you type? Like, am I just not seeing it? Did Flaky somehow get like shadow banned? That 
I mean, I didn't do it. See, I'm kind of with Raymond on that. I wish CIG would just fix it instead of going the Bethesda route and relying on a modder. Which one do I need? Cloud view. Okay. That is the right one. Call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. You know, Granulus, that's that's what I want to know. Like, I really want to know. Like, the Mexican government showing it off, and I'm looking at it. It's like, wow, these guys look suspiciously. Independence Day. I mean, Muzz, I'm coming around to it, man, but... Yeah, like, I... Basically, Granulous, what I would need is... For me to believe it, them allowing independent study from multiple countries to come through check the stuff out and be like, yeah, man, that's not a prop from, you know, Stargate. Exactly, Coyote. Why can I see someone from space? Yeah, Apple? Tell me more. I, uh, See, that's just, that's way too easy to believe. That is way too easy to believe. Approaching next station. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. All right, let me out. There we go. Coyote, how is it? Uh, how is it supposed to be a horror movie? And yeah, Apple, like that's the thing. Like anyone can make a prop and show it off. I mean, shoot, there was a time in like the early 1900s where. There's those pictures of girls, like, hanging out with fairies that everybody thought was, you know, true. And then that, that was a whole thing. This is the gun store, right? Yeah, it's the gun store. Where is... How the crap do you buy stuff here? Is this, is this it? Is this how I buy spaceships? All right. Purchase. You know, it feels very hollow with nobody going, how good did that just feel? <laughs> oh, lady. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. Okay. All right, let's go buy a bunch of cargo, see if they're 32 SCU boxes, and then I'm probably gonna scat for... A little bit. I say a little bit till tomorrow. See, Coyote, I, I really like the uh, the story in They Live. 
Like they were aliens and they were there for resources, but it was it was literally just business. Like they were entrepreneurs. It's like they were evil, but they were evil in like the disregard for the local life forms. It's like, oh yeah, no, it's just business. Uh, just gra grabbing natural uh, resources. I'm in, I'm in metals. I'm in metals. Okay, I really enjoyed that. Hey, what was that movie? Uh, was it Mac and Me? Like the the ET knockoff movie. Please clear the hatch. Was it McGee and Me? No, no, McGee and Me was the. That was the series. No, that was a show with the kid who hung out with like the the little cartoon character. Oh, Sebastian, that'd be so nice. Oh, yeah, no, the, yeah, the wreck trawling. We were doing some vulture stuff is all. Thank you, Raymond. Yeah, we're doing some hull scraping. And supposedly they've updated all the cargo that you can find in ships now. So that's what I've been looking for. Didn't really have a lot of luck, though. See, Coyote, I haven't got to see Clear District 9. I really wanted to. Man, I wanted to see District 9, but I just I didn't get to see it at the time. <laughs> right then. Although I guess while I wait, I can remove the paint from this. And maybe the Pontus. I'm not sure what the M2 has. It's got a Pontus. Oh yeah, Coyote. I'm just I'm really bad about watching movies. Like when I've got a bunch of time, I go, "Man, I should watch a movie." And then I think I should do literally anything else than watch a movie. Providing connections to all major platforms. Crusader Industries is happy to offer free and convenient transit to all visitors. That's true, Apple. And I still will be because being a fan is not dependent on what you've seen or not seen. Ooh, audio's getting funky. Yeah, Sebastian, that's what Muzz does. Like, he'll solo Reclaimer and make tons of money. Yeah, exactly, Raven. Yeah. Like, okay, I enjoy going to the theater. I enjoy the experience of the theater, it, despite it constantly letting me down because people. Um, like, I, I love going to the cinema. But, like, you know, when it's a movie that's been out for a long time, it's like, hey, do you want to watch Amazing Cultural Movement number three? And I'm like... Uh, I don't know. Goodbye. I guess. Like Alien. I've never seen Alien. Your vehicle has been never seen Aliens. And I know that someone's going to rag on me for that, but, uh, you know, I'll just go with the, the bulletproof I had a bad childhood. Didn't get to see it. I 
honestly, Raymond, I, I enjoy the people. I just, it's when they're rude sometimes. Yeah, see, I knew it was gonna come. I knew it was gonna come. I mean, Muzz, that's fair. I, I get it. See? Thank you, Darren. Thank you, man. Thank you. Well, Apple, if that's the case, you should stop eating them. That's it, Parker. <laughs> Dude, what is he up to these days? What was his name? Not Hathaway. Uh, uh, oh, I forget his name. Dude who sang that song. I used to know the whole thing. Yeah, Apple, I was slow on the draw. I forgot to hit it. Yeah, see, Biker, I've never seen any of those. Oh, no, Darren, there was, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, from South Park, yeah. No, there was, uh, like an actual singer who sang it. I remember, like, he had a very, I want to say he had a very suggestive name. Nah, Apple, it's fine. It'll live in the moment. We won't doctor things like it's an image from the Soviet Union. Ah, uh, Sebastian, no, this is actually the, uh, the Pirate Week paint job. I tested on the C2, and I put it on the M2 just to make sure that it works. I'm pretty sure it works between all of them. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it, uh, this is actually a paint job. Let me get to a place that has, you know, sunlight, and you can see it. Yeah, no, Darren, that is uh, a fair cop. Uh, Jack, are you talking like the, uh, like when your ship gets damaged and whatnot? I mean, I can, I can try. Like, if you're talking about, like, uh the scorch marks and whatnot, but that is really hard to set up. That's probably one of the reasons you haven't seen anything on it. Because sometimes it's client specific. Which is really annoying. Like, like, okay, so check this out, Jack. You might spawn a ship. Brand new. You walk out to it. And it is covered in, in pock marks and, and like, it's got metal bits ripped off. And then you might get into a fight and the thing looks fine. But if a buddy gets on, they go, whoa, man, like, what happened to your ship, man? Like, you get all busted up, man. And nothing's happened to it, but on his end, you know, it just looks like it's been all ripped to, uh, ripped to pieces. But yeah, no, this is actually the uh, the Meridian paint for the Hercules series. This works on all the Hercules ships, A2, C2, M2, and uh, it's got a little bit of it for the, well, you can't really see it here, but for the top and bottom of the ship. But yeah, it is very shiny, it's basically the 400i Meridian skin, but for all the Hercs. See, Muzz, that's how I feel. Like, why is Meridian a pirate paint? Yeah, Raymond, for the uh, Ares, the Hercules, the Star Runner, and the Eclipse. Quantum travel complete. 
All right, so we're about to wrap the stream up. I'm just gonna buy some cargo right quick from Terra Mills because I want to see if these 32 SCU boxes go in the M2. Then we'll wrap it up and go again tomorrow. You think I'm on the pad? I don't think I'm on that. We're going to find out. Hey, I'm on the pad. Landing. Yeah, see, I need something that tells me it's a pirate paint. Like, they could literally just scribble pirate paint on the side. Oh, Apple, that's right, right. <laughs> oh, I do miss our flag means death. What a show. All right, let's fill this baby up with cargo. Yeah, see how glossy that is? I like that gloss. That's a fun gloss. Well, you know, Raven, CIG seems to be allergic to actual paint job designs. There's no tractor beam in here conveniently, is there? Hey, 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 hey! Look at that. Put that in local... I'm going to assume they don't have any uh, bits and bobs to go with them. Hello. There's no point in looting these. But why not? Yeah, DJ. Have a good one, man. There is a oh-so-slight chance that it already has a tractor beam in it. Oh, salvage! I don't need no stinking salvage. What about you? What do you have in you? Nothing at all. What about you? I, I, uh... Mm, I have no head. Nothing at all. I'm sure there's some in here. Hey, Elliot, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Although, okay, okay. Can I, uh, can I whine? Can I moan? Can I complain about something? I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway. I just wanted to give the, uh, the illusion of choice. Um. So, Last night, I was craving a cookie. And I wanted a cookie. And the only thing close to me was a place I'd never been to before called Crumble. And every time I've driven by Crumble, 
I have usually made fun of it. Or derided it. What is with all the salvage? Derided it. Is looking soulless. Or something for the kind of person who would think that pepper was, you know, a spice. And I know pepper's a spice, but like a spicy spice. Like, oh, if you need to mix it up, add a dash of pepper for some spicy fun. I also hate anything that misspells its name on purpose. Like, your name is Crumble. Use the frickin' E. You're not cute for not having the E on there. Um, like, just, just, just use the E, man. But I really wanted some cookies. So I decided to drive to Crumble. And I'm parked outside of it. I'm like, man, this is, this looks soulless. Like, where is, where is the Great American Cookie Company when you need it? Like, you know that thing that was in every mall in the early 2000s. Like, like that place was great. Like, you know, to quote Harry Potter, how dare you stand where he stood? Like, where is that? But the closest one to me is in, like, Conway, which is a bit of a drive. Um, so, you know, here I am at this crumble, and I walk in, and the place is just so bare soulless and, and and just absolutely just just, just uh, it's basically just a factory and um there's people working oh thank goodness there it is like there's people that work there but no one like at the register they just work making the cookies and you check out, like, a little self-checkout tablet. And these are the most ridiculously overpriced cookies I have ever seen. You can't even get a dozen. You have to buy a six-pack. And it was $25. $25. So I bought less than a six-pack. And... I'm grumbling to myself, doing this checkout thing. And then, and then, and then, the tablet has the audacity to ask for a tip. It's like, hello, how much would you like to tip? And it's like, nothing. No. Like... I'm not even checking out with a person. The only the only way that I am actually getting involved with a person in this transaction is for them to bring me the cookie that I order up to the counter. There's no there's no there's literally no service. Like I'm not even getting to talk to someone until after the transaction is over. There was no pre-transaction camaraderie or or interaction. I was not even acknowledged until they came up to bring me the, like, you don't, there is no tip involvement with this. Okay, how many, what do we got? Okay, 32, 32, 32. Okay, so this thing does take 32 SCU boxes. How about that? How about that? That is, that is nice. That is convenient. Not for people that are, I mean, not for me, who will be robbed, but that is convenient. But yeah, so like, I, I, I get these cookies home. I'm already in a mood. I tried, Elliot. You know, I was gonna say that's how we used to measure things around here. Like how big the, uh, how big it was. Like how many, like it's, you know, 32. Do they actually change? Hold on. Does it not say? Oh no, is it just on one end? No, okay. I was just not... I was blind. Raymond, I hate... I hate using them. I hate self-service. I will wait to check out with a person. You know why? Because that way that person still has a job. 
But I was not given that option in this situation. Okay, let me measure these right quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, so I get home. I get home. Those cookies were trash. Those cookies were trash. Those cookies were the saddest cookies <coughs> I've ever had. And that's saying a lot because I have baked cookies before. And they have been trash. Like, you know how sometimes someone bakes you cookies and it's super sweet, but the cookies just aren't good? but you eat them anyway because someone out of the kindness and goodness of their heart made you cookies. These were worse than those. Uh, Apple, not really. Um, in fact, it actually works against you because people go, oh wow, that'll be easy to pirate. So that's why I wanted to check these if we use 32 SCU boxes or not. Um, now, this is good for pirates, because a pirate shows up on an M2, they can still grab your 32 SCU boxes. But that's why I prefer the Caterpillar, because it has awkward, awkwardly high amounts of two SCU boxes and a few 16 and 24s. So it's a little bit more, more boxes to deal with. Yeah, that's, that's why, Apple. That's why I was checking them. So yeah, I th actually think the Caterpillar is still the way to trade. But yeah, trap box, like, okay. I will keep tipping, because as much as I hate tipping, uh, people need to live. And, like, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, if you're not making anything with that job, go get another job. But it turns out that job still needs to be done. Like, some poor fool is going to have to work that job, and they should deserve to be paid a living wage for it. And until things change. Unfortunately, I'm the sucker who's going to have to compensate for that. Um, but at no point did I interact with a human. Like, the computer got the tip. So, yeah. Yeah, Elliot. No, I mean, you know, with a tractor beam, you can just, you know, get him out of the way. Oh, I've committed a crime against physics. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, physics, that must be nice, dude. You're like, you can work at a pizza place and make more than 230 an hour plus tips. You know how much that is still? Like, if you if you work for tips... They only have to pay you like two, like two dollars and thirty cents an hour. Yeah, Parker, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up now. I just, I had that rant that I was so about. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, this thing can hold ten, ten thirty twos. Yeah, hell yeah, that was, that was my fault. I committed a crime. But all right, we're going to wrap it up now, so. I am going to retire. And eat one of those cookies that wasn't even... You know what? Hold on. Hold on. It is still 6.30 p.m. I just might drive to Conway. How far is Conway? How far is... Con Dear Google... Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at these directions. Okay, that's that's like half an hour. Do I drive to Conway for much better cookies? Do I do that? Do I drive to Conway for superior cookies at a much cheaper price that aren't so chic and bland and bad? You know what, Physic? Let them come. 
Let them come. They can arrest me. These are all still set pieces, right? Like, hold on. Uh, no, Berlin. Minimum wage in the U.S. is $7.25 an hour. Uh, now, some states have a higher state minimum wage, but uh, a lot of them, especially in the South, are still seven twenty-five an hour. I believe uh, Texas is still seven twenty-five. Now, Arkansas went up to $11 an hour. But, uh... <laughs> Darren! Torpedo burrito! <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know what? I think I will. I think I will go get those better cookies. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Heck yes. Thank you so much. Oh, Raymond, but it's all distilled spirits. Like, I'm going to have to go to a city to unload. And it's PTU. It's not like it's real, right? Like it's, it's the funny money version of a of a funny money system. Ooh, and the audio is messing up. Yeah, see, Apple. I want those cookie cakes, like the slices, like the pizza slice style of cookie cake they do. Mmm, mmm. God, I love those. When I worked at GameStop in the mall. We had this un there was this unwritten rule that if you went to the cookie place, you could get free cookies when it was time to, to wrap up, like when the mall was closing. But the thing is, you could only get free cookies as long as you were willing to pay for them. Because you'd show up at like 8.55, five minutes before they close, choose a couple of cookies. Oh, fine, Raymond, fine. Fine, we'll take it to our corp. How about that? But yeah, like you could show up and go, Hi, yes, I'd like to buy that cookie, that cookie, and that cookie. And then you go, Tell you what, man, it's the end of the night, just take it. Like, yeah. But. But. The moment. The moment. That you even tried to get those cookies for free. Like showing up and asking if you could just have them. Not only could you not, but you could never get them for free again. Like I had a, I had a little GA under me, uh, game advisor. And dude tried to get cookies for free. And he got, he got excommunicated from the cookie place. Like he was never allowed to have free cookies again. And if you got free cookies and they knew you worked at GameStop, they would tell you not to give them to that guy. Like they would keep track. So you could have free cookies so long as you always planned to pay for them. It was just this weird mall-like ritual. Spark plug, how? How? Is there nothing better? See, Raymond, I don't know what your cookies are like over there, but here, our Domino's actually does these, like, uh... It, it's, it's like a brownie, but it's almost like a combination cookie brownie. Like, it's brownie-shaped but it's half brownie, half cookie. And those are really good. But I'm not sure if there's any differences between ours and yours, or if you have a different type of menu. Okay, spark plug. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, like if it's literally walking distance from the office, I get that. Like... Okay, I get that. Like, when you literally don't have to travel, I get it. But man, oh man, like, I'm telling you, there's a whole world of better cookie out there. Yeah, Physic, have a good night, man. I'm, I'm gonna go sell this cargo. 
for Raymond's sake. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. Like, like, listen, man, I get it. When I worked at, when I worked at the GameStop in Malvern, the closest thing to me food-wise was a Wendy's. And me and Wendy, we got to know each other real good. Real good. I could have had much better things for food. You know, Jack, I, I we don't have 7-Elevens here. I have to travel to go see a 7-Eleven. In fact, hold on, hold on. Let's Google this. Dear Google, 7-Eleven near me. Find a store. Wow. Wow. Um. Hmm. Kai, I will believe that when I see it. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So no, there's there's no 7-Elevens in my state. That's how bad Arkansas is. It's a third world country, hundreds of miles from the closest 7-Eleven. He carries on buying ices from inferior grocery stores. Oh, Kai, don't tell me that. That is 20 minutes from me. Probably not even that. 15. Bucky scares me, man. Bucky's is like a cult. Like they, they pump something in the air. Like I went into a Bucky's once. Quantum travel There's like you can enter, but don't take anything with you, otherwise they'll get a hold on you. Like everybody I know, like as soon as you mention Bucky's, it's like telling a child. They're gonna go to Disneyland. It's like, oh my god, Bucky's! Like, they're so happy. And it's like, why? What does this place do to you? Uh, Malcolm, maybe? I know we have Come and Go. Probably the most unfortunately named gas station. We have Easy Marts, which suspiciously have a very 7 Eleven color pattern. Okay, Raymond. Raymond, look up Bucky's. Look up an aerial shot of Bucky's. Raymond, I want you to imagine a gas station the size of a Walmart, the size of a mall. Imagine a gas station so huge that it's basically the size of, of a shopping, like an actual shopping, a large, shopping store like gas pumps as far as the eye can see yeah a hundred plus pumps 
Now, I will say, they do have the best bathrooms. I've, like, they have better bathrooms than most houses. Um, like, walls and walls of jerky. You can specially request jerky. They also have brisket. Other types of barbecue, sandwiches, and a host of other things. And just lots and lots of merchandise and Bucky's themed whatever. And just general shopping. Hey, who's who? Yeah, Raymond, sorry, yeah, like a petrol station. But a petrol station the size of a mall. Ah, yes, how can I forget the beaver nuggets? They also sell Icy's, and they have every flavor of Icy, and I cannot tell you how tempted I was to get an Icy from Bucky's. But I told myself that I would leave with nothing. Because if I took it with me, it would have a way to influence me. Yeah, they have home decor, they got freaking furniture. Oh, see, Apple even knows it. Pretty much, Raymond. Like, Bucky's is... Like, okay. I can't... You can't... Okay. You can't really describe Bucky's. You can try. But to understand it, you have to see it. Yeah, Caleb, that's it. That's it. Raymond, imagine 750 parking spots for a gas station. Just... Just... To get gas. Now, Apple, I'm gonna give you that about the breakfast burritos. And thank you, Spark Plug. Yeah, I just, I just... Okay. All right, Raymond, let me tell you a story. Back in April, when I was coming from, when I was coming back from DC after getting my car, there was a billboard for Bucky's 255 miles before the first Bucky's. And every 60 miles or so, There'd be a new billboard letting you know that you're getting closer to Bucky's, and you were almost there, and it's worth the wait. And if you hold on just a little bit longer, you too can go to Bucky's. And as you're getting closer, you keep seeing that sign. It's like, oh, only 20 miles to Bucky's. 10 more to go. You're almost there. And it's like this, as long as you can hold out hope, everything good in the world will happen to you. As long as you can make it to that Bucky's. Like, yes, Darren, exactly. Like, I've, I've seen churches that were less pushy. Like, like even like when the Jehovah Witnesses show up at your door and you're like, no, thanks, man. They're like, okay, that's fine. Like, Bucky's just like, I know you want it. And you're getting closer. Why not make a pit stop? After all, you've been on this journey for so long. Why not take a break at Bucky's? It's just, it's just, there's something, it, it feels insidious. It feels insidious. It feels so, you guys ever read Animorphs? Okay. Those of you who have read Animorphs, there's, like, the group in Animorphs called the Sharing. It's, like, big brothers, big sisters. I mean, but it's the front for the, you know, aliens invading the planet. That's what Bucky's feels like. It feels like a front. For what? I don't know. But it feels like a front.
Yeah, but for me, you know, I kind of I kind of want to drive. I haven't got to drive around the the Dakota areas yet. I want to do that. See granules, that's fair. Man, did I store that ship? I hope I did. Otherwise, I'm going to have to commit die. Yes, Raymond, it does. It's like, give in. Have a beaver nugget. You'll like it. All right, Raymond. We've sold. All right. The circle is complete. Oh, yeah, Arcturus. Speaking of, did my guy finally jump? He did. Oh, they both did. <laughs> oh, Elliot, not much at all, man. Like, I made probably 16,000 off that. Well, okay, hold on. No, that's processed food. Off that, that was probably 70K. I mean, Raymond, it does. It does. It feels, it feels, it feels a little good. Oh, yeah, Mr. E, we're discussing uh, Bucky's. See, I know it's just a messed up helmet, but I really need that as a helmet. See, Lonix, this is what Citizen Con's going to look like. I always feel bad about conventions because I feel like conventions usually are over a thing that attract people with, like, light anxiety. So it's like asking a bunch of people with anxiety about crowds to get together as a crowd. Kind of like how D&D &D is a social game built for people who are usually like socially awkward. Like that's cruel. That's just, that's just cruel. You know, it's like, hey, I'm Gary Gygax and I'm gonna make a game that you wish you could desperately play, but it takes having social skills to get enough people together to do it. And it's aimed at people who usually lack those social skills. How are you going to do it? And then, like, dude had to wait, like, 30 years or 40 years for the internet to come along. Oh, Marcus, I'm sure someone will make it. Oh, no. Now I'm trapped behind discount Elvis guy. There we go. Yeah, exactly, Phaedrus. Like, okay. I, I I feel like I am an extrovert. I draw energy from crowds. Um, but I know not everyone's like that. And it just seems messed up that, you know, that's usually what conventions are. Okay, I, I'm actually trapped. I cannot escape this. Yeah, curious. Ah, there we go. I'm alive. I've escaped. Okay. All right. I am going to go get a cookie now. Oh, he's on this side. Dang it. You see, Apple, I've realized with my inability to smell, I am the perfect person to withstand a convention. It doesn't matter how salty someone's attitude or armpits are. I can withstand it. Where's that vaulting they were telling us? Oh, that's the perfect opportunity. Well. Time to end the stream. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up here. I mean, Darren, they could be. They easily could be. Yeah, Sibby. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to drive or fly. Because if I drive... 
I can see all the cool sites on the way, but I think it would actually be slightly more expensive. But uh, that would be a nice Route 66 trip, you know. But flying would get me there in a few hours and overall be cheaper. That's the final nugget I've got to iron out. But all right. We are going to wrap it up here and we will resume tomorrow. Oh, hey, is that Elvis guy? Nope. Okay. So you guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy yourselves. Darren, once again, thank you, man. I'm going to go chase down that cookie. Yes, yeah, Simmy, you think I should drive? You tell me more about it tomorrow. Give me the pros and cons. Well, the pros and cons that you think are there. I'll add them to my own. But until then, I want you guys to have a good night. Drink some water. And uh, get something scrum diddly umptious to eat. I know I'm going to. And until next time, keep on trucking. Have a good night, guys.